another video. I thought I was doing what I do in a day rather than um, what I eat in a day like you see in a lot of other videos. Uh, it's going to be a bit of exercising, obviously the food's going to be in there, probably walking a the dog. So my first thing today is going to be uh, doing some exercise and my workout. So um, yeah, you, you'll notice that today is going to be your workout routine is going to be different to um, the last one I did with the calisthenics, probably because I couldn't get on with calisthenics very well. So um, I'm basically going to go back to what I used to do when I was younger, which was weight training, and there was a bit of calisthenics in there. But uh, yeah, I um, hope you enjoy the day, and uh, I will uh, see you after I've done my exercise. That's the uh, exercise over. Yeah. The uh, <coughs> you notice know, so I was uh, when I was using the um, parallel bars. Or that bit in between was uh, basically it was a resistance band because I can't use my full body weight yet. So uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. Anyway, now it's down to a breakfast, which is a uh, smoothie. So uh, let's introduce you to the bad boys that are going in it, shall we? Right. So uh, going in the smoothie today is uh, some kale, which is uh, grown in our garden lovely stuff and we have some dates already stoned whole hemp seeds some uh, nice vegan protein some uh, mango the reason mango is going in for me and not banana is because i'm actually allergic to banana so that's the next best thing uh, some mixed fruits some nice soya milk it's got lots of protein in it as well some pumpkin seed some uh, sesame seeds and yeah that's it so uh, I will put these all in the uh, just in now and uh, trim it all up okay right so here we go put that off. These up first before because we got this from the garden we had to uh, have to wash it all up and everything uh, otherwise it wouldn't be a vegetarian let alone vegan so <laughs> Little critters get in there. So I put that in there first. Push it out. Get some dates in there. Get the packet open. Put two of these dates in as you see there. Put them in. And some uh, hemp seed. About a tablespoon full of uh, hemp seed. Okay. So put about a tablespoonful of hemp seed in. Wait, oh, and some are going to be A scoop of protein. Try not to get it all over the place. Next we uh, put in about a teaspoonful of uh, cold sesame seeds. So. As you can see I'm not the best at putting these in a thing all in one go, they tend to go over the place a bit. And then uh, for the pumpkin seed it's about a tablespoon. Now on to the milk. Basically just pour it until it's kind of just sitting with the uh oh I always like to cut that so you know when it goes to the uh, rubbish area if, if it does end up in the uh, tip as it were then uh, no little uh, creatures gonna get stuck in it and get hurt. Now soy milk in Really. Oh, I'll put it up to about there, I can always top it up in a bit. To one side for a minute. Right, put some uh, mango in there. 
I usually put about that much in. Much more go in. And then, last but not least, and it's not open. Right, it was at uh, this point that uh, the uh, microphone batteries decided to die because um, clever person here forgot to check it before we start before I started recording. So uh, yeah, basically it's um, about a small handful of uh, mixed berries into the cup. Stick the lid on it, put it in the blender and uh, let it go. And while it's whizzing up, change the batteries on the microphone and I'll be back in a sec. Right, blending over. Time to uh, test this baby out. Oh, right. Usually give this a straight rinse out under the tap. Let's go for it. Looks a bit... Ooh, brown and everything. It's, sometimes they don't look the tastiest things, but what they, you know, they're lovely when you go and do it. That's nice. Could have been done a bit, a bit, little bit sweeter, but still lovely. Cool, right. I'm gonna go and have this now, and uh, then I'm gonna have a shower, which obviously I won't take you in there for, because you don't want to see that. And uh, then uh, I will see you for the next part. Right, that's the uh, breakfast and shower over. Now it's time for uh, taking this lovely baby for a walk. And she goes, bang up time. Right, let's do this. <laughs> The dog walked. She, uh, Brandy's had a nice walk. She probably saw from the little uh, clips a minute ago. And uh, yeah, it's time for lunch. So today I'm going to have uh, two falafel and hummus wraps. Um, and I'll introduce you to the ingredients. So uh, I've got uh, some hummus here made by my lovely wife. Some falafel, again, homemade by my lovely wife. Uh, some uh, mango chutney in there and uh, some tomatoes and a bit of uh, green baby leaf salad. So let's do this. Right. Easy spoon, yeah. So first things first. It's on there. Spread it in there. All that now, I think. I think we'll do one at a time. So, uh, right enough. Right. Do this. So if you're wondering why I'm laughing there, the dog's just part of passing grunted because I'm making food and not giving her any. <laughs> oh dear, we have a nutty general. We have a nutty dog. Right, that's them. Then we want to put the old camera channels on there. More. Flaffles. Bit of the old mango chuck me across it. There we go. Right. That. Not the prettiest thing in the world I've ever done, but there you go. 
Wham, falafel, and hummus wrap. Alright, let's take a bite and see what it's like, shall we? Mmm, what on? What's on? Right. I'm going to make number two. And I will be, admit, I'm going to be a little bit naughty. So I've got an apple to go with it as well, but... I've also got a little sausage roll. I've got, got one of these ones, the vegan one from Aldi. So I'm going to try that as well. But, uh, yeah. That's uh, going to be my lunch and Chris's as well. And uh, I'm going to carry on making the second one. And I will uh, see you after lunch. Right, that's lunch over and done with. So, uh, it was a lovely lunch and uh, enjoyed it. Uh, now, just before I go and do some work, I'm going to take the uh, dog outside, take Randy outside and uh, let her have a round bit out there and uh, in the back garden, uh, with her little favourite thing is the bubbles. Right, Randy's had her bubbles now, so she's all happy downstairs. She's having a bit of a snooze, so uh, I thought I'd leave her to it. We'll come up here and do a bit of work. Uh, basically, I'm going to do some editing and some stuff. I'm going to do a bit of um, editing on the uh, video and we're calling it Spice Moment and uh, get that sorted out with the bits I've got up already and uh, then after that I've got another project that I'm doing with someone else that I can't show me editing for deeper reasons really um, but uh, yeah that's it for now and uh, yeah the next thing is I'll see you for is um, it's tea tonight dinner all right that's all done now so it's uh Basically, it's um, time for dinner, uh, which my uh, lovely wife has cooked. So uh, I will just uh, show you what she's done and then uh, I'll tuck into that. Look at that, we've got the lovely uh, Moroccan chickpea tagine that uh, my wife uh, did a video about it a little while ago. I'll put that in the description down below with some the quinoa. Quinoa and a couple of slices of um, lentil. It's red lentil flatbread. Red lentil flatbread. So yeah. Get I, that protein so on. That's all lots of protein and lots of goodies. Ooh, right, I'm going to tuck into this and I will see you after the video. After dinner even. <laughs> right, that's dinner over with now. Um, basically, just you now just sort the dishwasher out and uh, let the lovely dinner that Teresa prepared go down and um, watch a bit of TV and sort some other little things out and uh, go to bed really. Um, hope you enjoyed the uh, video. If you did, give it the old thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the, we'll see you in the next video. Okay, cheers guys, bye. And today I'm gonna have a couple of falafels. Five, four, three,